Welcome to Home Schools and the New Architects, Rewriting Design Education for the SDG Age. Today, we embark on a journey to explore how our homes and schools are evolving, guided by sustainable development goals and innovative design thinking. Our goal is to redefine education, merging theoretical knowledge with practical applications to revolutionise the way we build and learn. Today's video is for everyone who ever learned the wrong lesson from a skyscraper, that sustainability is a label. We will change that. We will take the SDGs from brochure language to living practice, in schools, in studios, in the communities that actually remember our names. In the current educational landscape, there's a disconnect between what is taught in classrooms and what is needed in real-world practice. Buildings, curricula and institutions are not neutral. They teach. Yet our evidence shows a dissonance. Architecture schools often speak sustainability, but many graduates still build for prestige, not people. Papers across continents, from the Science Direct study on integrating SDGs into the curriculum to empirical analyses of Rockwell theses, tell the same story. We teach ideals, we graduate contradictions. Why does this matter? Because architecture shapes where children sleep, where markets form, where hope becomes a shelter. If an education system fails to embody SDG thinking, every home we design is at risk of becoming a small betrayal. Beautiful on the outside, hollow where it must nurture life. This gap hinders our ability to foster professionals who can respond to today's complex challenges. By identifying these discrepancies, we aim to create a curriculum that enhances employability, ensures housing dignity, and maintains educational credibility. Listen to the facts, because facts are our scaffolding. Buildings are responsible for roughly 39% of energy-related carbon emissions. 40% of extracted materials feed construction. The Science Direct article, Integrating SDGs into the Architecture Curriculum, interviewed educators across nine countries and found that most had not been formally trained in SDG pedagogy. Another study, Rotswov's examination of theses, reveals a gap between what we teach and what students deliver. Then there is the generative AI paper. Ethical design with AI is possible, but only if social values are coded into the workflow. And on the horizon, research about knowledge graphs and LLM-based systems suggests we can map design, SDG impacts with fidelity if we invest in the tools. These papers are not academic curiosities, they are instructions. For this episode, we will solve three life issues in public. Housing dignity. How do we ensure students design homes that protect life rather than prestige? Graduate employability and purpose. How do we give students skills that matter to communities, not just to portfolios? Curriculum credibility. How do universities move from boxes on reports to measurable societal change? Every proposal I offer will be judged by one simple question. Does this help a mother, a child, a small business or a community survive and thrive? We need a practical instrument, not rhetoric. I call it the power matrix, EEQ. Emotional existential intelligence, teaching students to feel the ethical weight of design decisions. EEQ trains empathy, moral imagination, historical humility. It answers, who will live here? AIQ, artificial intelligence quotient, literacy, but not just programming. AIQ is about asking the right questions of models using digital twins, life cycle analyses and knowledge graphs so that design choices are evidenced. It answers, what is the real impact? SSQ, Sustainable Social Quotient, the muscle of community care. SSQ measures whether a building nurtures social structures, local economies, accessibility and resilience. It answers, will this place make people's lives better? When these three intelligences are taught in parallel, we move from aesthetic virtue signalling to accountable design practice. 
Our approach is grounded in rigorous research and key academic papers that highlight the need for change and innovation in design education. We will not imagine that a solitary hero fixes institutions. We will use a vanguard team, the Vanguard Alchemists, applied as architecture school functions. I will name them and assign roles you can replicate. Strategy builds the curriculum blueprint. Task. Create an SDG studio track, mandatory, that is co-taught with a local community partner. Result. Students must deliver a measurable local outcome as their final project, not a conceptual model for a jury. Marketing and distribution. Reframes publications and portfolio narratives. Task. Requires students to publish a community evidence page with performance data in plain language. Result. Transparency replaces marketing, audience intelligence, recruits and listens to real users. Task. Run participatory sessions every term. Not a token consultation, but a joint design lab with residents, workers and elders. Result. Projects co-owned, not imposed. Rhetoric and critique. Runs reflective seminars that ask the question, who benefits? Task. Insert ethical case critiques into every studio crit. Result, design arguments grounded in justice. Workflow and tools, operationalizes AIQ. Task, deploy digital twins, life cycle assessment tools, and an open data set for every project. Result, measurable, embodied, and operational carbon metrics published. Trends and Research curates the latest papers and podcasts, CIRS, Cambridge SDG Research, the Ethical Generative Design Work. Task, run a weekly research clinic that matches student designs to SDG evidence. Result, projects tied to global knowledge, locally tested. Ethics and Policy, ensures institutional policy follows practice. Task, Draft a binding SDG clause in procurement, hiring and capital projects so the university cannot greenwash. Result, accountability embedded in governance. Let's be concrete. Here is a pilot programme any school can run in 12 months. I call it Studio Lab Community SLC. Month 01, convene. Convene a steering group, faculty, students, a community partner, local council rep, two technicians for AIQ. Sign an institutional commitment, deliverable, an SLC brief. Month 2-3, research sprint, run a clinic, four papers, SDG curriculum paper, integration classification study, ethical generative design, Roxwell thesis analysis, plus two podcasts, building green, better buildings for humans, summarised into ten one-page briefs for each student team, set up the digital twin template, Month four to seven, co-design studio. Facilitate weekly co-design labs with community residents. Host bi-weekly ethics critiques. Hephaestus collects sensor data and preliminary life cycle assessments. Month eight to 10, build prototype and test. Students build scaled prototypes or retrofit pilots. Monitor embodied carbon and operational energy in real time via the digital twin dashboard. Month 11, measure and report. Prepare plain language community performance reports, energy, water, CO2, social usage, cost. Publish data openly. Month 12, exhibition and policy loop. Leads a policy roundtable with municipal officers. Write a public white paper. Students' projects are tested for real adoption potential. Key metrics, embodied carbon per square meter, hours of community use, number of local jobs created, change in utility bills for residents and student employment outcomes. This is not a slogan, it is a methodology that proves or disproves sustainability within a year. AI is not the enemy, but without EEQ, AI is an amplifier of bias. Here's how we use AIQ with discipline. Start with values. Before any model runs, students write a values charter, what social outcomes the design pursues. Measure embodied carbon first. Use open LCA tools to make the initial carbon cost visible. Run generative design for alternatives, not defaults. AI suggests permutations. Humans select the social impact. 
publish the model and data, openness invites critique, machine accountability, audit cycles, schedule quarterly audits, does the AI produce equitable outcomes? If not, retrain with new data that centers marginal voices. When AIQ stands alone, it optimizes for clicks or cost or client wins. When it is bound to EEQ and SSQ, it becomes a force multiplier for decency. Institutions change only when incentives align. Here are practical levers. Curriculum credit. Make the SLC studio a required capstone with academic credit equivalent to major technical courses. Career pipelines. Partner with local councils and social housing developers to guarantee pilot adoption for the best prototypes. Funding. Redirect even a portion of capital campaigns to seed living lab grants. AI agent crafts the clause to ensure funds serve SDG outcomes. Faculty rewards. Tenure and promotion committees must value community impact and open data publications as much as journal articles. These small governance shifts create big cultural shifts. Numbers matter, but stories hold us. At a pilot I led, a retrofit of low-income flats reduced heating bills by 40% and increased children's study hours because rooms were warm and quiet. A student team won not just a prize, but a paid contract to scale the prototype in three neighbourhoods. That family's life changed. That is the point. That is the currency of meaningful education. Before we finish, here is the Vanguard Alchemist Manifesto, a toolkit you can copy tomorrow. Teach EEQ, add a compulsory ethics and listening module in every studio, 30 hours per year. Deploy AIQ tools. Every design brief must include a life cycle assessment and a digital twin snapshot. Measure SSQ, count community users, jobs created, local procurement percentage. Publish openly performance dashboards for every project. Policy lock, attach an SDG clause to capital spend. Pay for impact, channel at least 5% of university development funds to living lab grants. Scale pilot, replicate SLC in three neighborhoods in year two. These are not reforms, they are commitments. Put them in the faculty handbook, put them in the student charter, put them on the wall of your new flat, so your daughter sees how a home becomes a promise to the next generation. I moved into a small flat and I decided every video we make will solve a life issue. Today's how to stop universities from building white elephants and start birthing living labs. Memory rule. Every future episode will begin with a life question. Who is helped? Who is hurt? And end with a measurable solution. If you are a teacher, a student, a dean or a council officer, nominate your campus below. Tell us your hardest problem. Athena will make a blueprint, AI agent will provision the tools, A will listen and Themis will bind it with policy. We will run the pilot, publish the data and tell the story together. Subscribe, share with a fellow educator and bring your community to the table. For my daughter, for your child, for every person who deserves a home that teaches them how to live well. Integrating SDGs into the architecture curriculum, Science Direct. Integration of SDGs in Bachelor Architectural Design, Classification Model. Socio-sustainable architectural design through ethical generative design and AI, Purdue Proceedings, Rochwolf Empirical Study, MDPI, Large Language Model-Based Knowledge Graph for SDGs, Archive, Listen, Building Green, The World We Want, SDG Learncast, Better Buildings for Humans, links in the description. By focusing on fundamental theories and transformative practices, we will pave the way for a new educational paradigm that aligns with sustainable development goals. Stay with us as we delve into solutions and strategies that will address these pressing life issues and empower the architects of tomorrow.